right. I remember when this all started, sex was carnage, this one's lasting. Uh, 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 uh. I was, like, I was like Cupid's calling. This one is Alicia Keys. Basically, she was one of the main people that I grew up listening to alongside Christina Aguilera. I actually wanted to change my name to Christina once because I loved her so much. Um, but I like this album because there's a few of her songs are very empowering um, for girls who were young. And when I was growing up, I loved listening to this. And it kind of um, made me feel really strong and hard. And I could beat anyone up. No, I'm joking. Not actually beat anyone up. Well, maybe. <laughs> Eminem. I couldn't find the um, album that I wanted to find, but anyway, I found one of him. And I love him more than life. And basically, when I was growing up, because he swears a lot, my mum didn't let me used to listen to him. My dad used to let me listen on the sly. <laughs> so thanks, Dad. <laughs> now I swear so much because of Eminem. No, I'm joking. He didn't teach me how to swear. But I love him. Always have done. Always will. He's a lyrical genius. And a lot of people think that he's one of the best rapper, rappers ever. And I think so too. The D'Angelo album. <laughs> Oops. So, basically, um, we went to Jamaica for a show once and this album had just come out and we couldn't stop playing it and now every time I hear this song it reminds me of being in Jamaica and it was, it's just such a good memory and obviously some, it's an amazing album. Really Love is my favourite and Betray My Heart and The Zor and Back to the Future and, <laughs> and all of them. <laughs> I think really loves my favourite one. Anyway, he's amazing. So this next one is John Mayer. I've actually loved him all of my life. And um, yeah, my friend actually introduced me to his music when I was in college. And I don't know, I don't know what it was, but I, I just loved his voice. And anyway, I've loved him a lot. And we did a show in America once. It's all about memories. The music creates memories. And anyway, we were in America and David Beckham had come to see the show and all these famous people. And we, we were talking to David Beckham and he was just like playing football and I was like, rah, it's just David Beckham in front of me. And then John Mayer walked past and I was just like, see you later, David. <sighs> I literally, I never ever get starstruck, ever and I literally just froze completely and was like, I didn't even say hello. I didn't even say hello. So thanks, thanks David, you made me lose contact with John Mayer. This I've chose ABBA because, I don't know, I love all of their songs actually. Um, I think they're a bit of a love-hate thing like Marmite, but my granddad, my nan and granddad used to play this nearly every time we were at their house when we were younger and my granddad absolutely loves them. So yeah, I'm doing this for you granddad. <laughs> oh my god, I love all of them. Dancing Queen, The Winner Takes It All, Mamma Mia, there's so many. Mamma Mia, here I go again. Mamma, how can I resist ya? Mamma Mia, does it show again? Mamma, just how much I missed ya. Yes, I've been broke. I'm only joking, I'm not doing that. He's laughing at me, he's laughing at me. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. So yeah, Abba. I'm not gonna put it there because that's in G and he'll get really annoyed. I'll just put it there instead. <laughs> there goes the alarm. 